Welcome to Advanced ClickView 12 for Developers, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Todd Heppenstall and I will be the presenter for this course. This is a superb hands-on guide to exploring an amazing BI solution platform, that is ClickView, where you will learn how to successfully implement it technically and strategically. You'll learn valuable tips, tricks and insightful information on loading different types of data into ClickView and how to model it effectively. If you have worked with ClickView before, you will find that the exercises presented in each section and the recommended practices we discuss will help you extend your knowledge and become more proficient with ClickView. Now, let me give you a quick introduction to the ClickView technology. So, ClickView is one of the most flexible and powerful business intelligence platforms around. If you want to build data into your organization, build it around ClickView. Don't get caught in the gap between data and knowledge. Find out how ClickView can help you unlock insights and data potential with ease. Now, let's talk about this course. Our first section, Data Modeling Best Practices, expands on the knowledge about data modeling and scripting. You will learn how to make sure that data models are consistent and how to work with complex data models and multiple fact tables. We will also learn how to reduce storage requirements for a dataset and how best to deal with date and time information. Our next section, Basic Data Transformation, focuses on how to deal with unstructured data and how to transform it for use in our ClickView data model. We will learn about basic data transformation subjects, such as cleansing data and how to restructure pivoted and hierarchical tables for inclusion in the ClickView data model. The third section, Advanced Expressions, discusses the use of variables. We will also learn how to use conditional functions and how to handle advanced aggregations. After that, we will move to Set Analysis and Point-in-Time Reporting, which takes a closer look at set analysis and will explain how it can be used for point-in-time reporting. We will also learn about comparative analysis using alternate states. The fifth section, Advanced Data Transformation, returns to the topic of data transformation. We will learn about the most commonly used data architectures that can ease ClickView development and administration. Next, we will take a close look at aggregating and sorting data in the data model. We will then step ahead to the next section, more on visual design and user experience, that takes another look at the visual design of our ClickView documents and will learn how to create a consistent user interface. The second part of the section introduces us to some additional manners of adding interactivity to our documents. The final section, Security, shows how to secure our ClickView documents. We will see how we can allow only authorised users to open our documents and will learn how we can limit what a user can do and see within our document. By the end of this course, you will be able to implement some useful techniques and best practices to transform data in ClickView via scripts and utilize ClickView's built-in aggregation functions to achieve complex calculations. You will be able to create a consistent and interactive user interface along with ensuring that your ClickView applications and data are protected. Last but not least, you could optimize the ClickView data model and construct a data architecture that supports scalable ClickView deployments. All you need to get started is a machine running ClickView 12 or any latest version. Working experience of any other BI solution tool is preferable but not mandatory. Also, basic knowledge of ClickView would help you a lot. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together and I hope to see you there.